Pace car pulls off the track. Nate sent its way for the green. We're racing. Rocky Roddy Brooks is a good run. He has the lead into one. He's looking to clear Jamie out of two. Can't get it done. Wright fights back down the back stretch. He's up to the door. They roll the center even. Heads up out of four. Give it to Rocky Roddy on lap one. These guys are fighting for this heat win. Josh St. Clair, he's right there in the mix. Lap two, that one to Rocky Ronnie Brooks by three one thousandths of a second. Top three all running 15 twos. Not the fastest they've been today, but they're still flying. Lap three, give that one to Rocky Ronnie Brooks. He's fighting hard on that outside. He's got his primary car back and it's definitely showing. Good to see great speed out of that car. Out of four, he's building it up. He looks to clear him into one, can't get it done. Rolls through one and two, he's clear down the back strip. Can you bring it down? Not quite. It's tough to change the rhythm of the car. Bring it down to the bottom groove. Gets it done through the corner. Halfway done this heat race, rocking Ronnie Brooks, pulling away. He's got a two car length advantage. Charles St. Clair looking up high. He wants that second spot, can't get it done. Saunders holding strong in fourth. Kevin Douglas up to fifth. This one getting done a little quicker than the previous races. Out of four, Brooks looks at the circuit. He extends that lead up to four tenths. Twin sticks in the air. Brooks is light every lap so far. These last two. Douglas looking on the outside. He wants a fourth spot from Andy Saunders. Douglas looks like he can get it done. White flag waves from Rock and Rock. Douglas now the fourth place car. See if he can hold it through the rest of the lap. He wants more. He's looking to take third place from Josh St. Clair. They got a point battle going. He wants to get the two points. This side by side out of four. Who gets it? Give it to Kevin Douglas. What a final lap for him on the outside. He'll extend that point. No, he won't extend it. He'll gain on Josh by two points. That's now he a pulls off the track. Battle. Green flag waves. We're pro star racing in the one. Jamie Wright, Rock and Ronnie Brooks, heads up through one and two. Advantage goes to no one. Brooks drives it deep into three. He rolls it through three and four. Advantage Brooks on lap one. Josh St. Clair holding steady in the third position. He's waiting for something to open. Just needs a lane. Brooks still fighting on the outside. Give that to Jamie Wright. Kevin Douglas out back, waiting for tires to warm up, come up to pressure. He looks like he's ready to set that car to the outside. But up front, it is still Brooks and Wright. Wright able to clear Brooks out of turn four on lap three. St. Clair up to second at turn two. He's trying to see if he can't win tonight and then go to Oxford tomorrow and win the big one. Brooks bottoming out, looking like he's still waiting for a couple pounds of pressure to come in. Can't quite match the performance this car had in the heat race. They're gonna come back later in this run. These cars can do that. St. Clair looking high. He's up to the bumper through three. Can't quite rotate through four, at least still Jamie Wright. St. Clair sets it back in line. Douglas up the outside. He's looking for the fifth position over Hinckley. Douglas was the fastest car in practice with a 14-6, followed by another 14-6 and just parked it. He was good enough. Lap five, give it, lap seven, give it to Douglas in the fifth position. He's setting his sights on Andy Saunders for fourth. Saunders having a strong top five run so far. He's looking to turn his luck around. 
Had a solid top five in last year's Boss Ox has then been looking to find his groove again. But Douglas now solidly up to fourth. He's gonna leave it out there. He knows what he's gonna do to win this. He's working on third place, Walker Rodney. He's up to the numbers into one. He is just making this look too easy. I wish I was in that race car right now. That thing is glued. Out of four, look at Douglas go. He's fighting for second. Douglas almost got second place taken care of. Ready to work on the leader, Jamie Wright. That car is ridiculous tonight. It looks like Douglas will be the new leader. He came right out of four on lap 12. My guess was lap 15 he was going to do it. He beat me by three laps. I lost my own bet. Douglas, the new leader, he looks to just pick up laps, put him down, do what he has to do for the next 27 laps. The battle looks like it's going to be for that fourth spot, Brooks versus Saunders. Brooks starting to push up out of four. Saunders looking to get a run. He enters high into one, going to try to cross out of two. Can't quite get it done. Brooks has just enough pull out of the corner. Can he get it done through four? Nope. Can't do it. Oh, the box looking high. He knows he's got some speed. He knows what he's going to do. Hinkley will feel where he was. Not going to let him bring it back down. He's stuck out there now. You wanted to take the chance. You got to live with it now. Saunders looks high. He blocks the box run. Hinkley gonna fill that gap. Can Hinkley steal fourth from Saunders? Yes, he can. Or will Andy be able to make the outside roll? Outside starting to rubber up. Maybe we can get some grip out there and get a battle going. Saunders not giving it up. Up front, Tevin Douglas has checked out. He's going for his third win on the year. St. Clair, Douglas, and Hinkley doing about all the winning in this. Oh, we have a yellow flag. Hinkley down in turn four off the track. This guy was looking at point standings. Didn't see what Green flag waves. So Bach with a lazy restart. He drifts back a whisker. But down the back stretch, it is all Kevin Douglas. He's going to clear right through three and four. St. Clair's going to go with him. He's the new second place machine. Hinkley gonna look to try to steal third. He's coming from a spin, restart, and get third. That's never given up. That's the halfway point right there. Kevin Douglas still the leader. Josh St. Clair looking to fight for that lead. Is Douglas as fast as we think he is, or does Josh St. Clair have something for him? Josh not in his primary car. That's sitting an hour and a half away, ready to go 250 laps. He was pretty fast in practice over there as well. Near the top of the speed charts yesterday. Shabak manages to get fourth from Jamie Wright. out of four. I have never seen anybody wheel a race car like Jamie Wright can. That man will get that car 90 degrees sideways and then just power down the straight. Yeah, it's in his blood. Uh, I, I don't get it. I have been behind him before and just been flabbergasted. <laughs> he had a pretty good teacher. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've heard. There's a wheel man and then there's the Jamie Wright wheel man. This time by Douglas up to a one second lead. He turned his fastest lap of the race after this restart. He was saving something. Two tenths quicker that lap. Douglas starting to extend it. 
St. Clair probably realizing he's been defeated, starting to save rubber, realizing he's got to hold off Hinkley. Shabak looking to join the fray. Jamie Wright still definitely loose out of four. And every time you see Jamie that loose, you swear he's going to cook the right rear. You're going to catch up to him. You're going to pass him. But you never seem to catch him. No. Nope. Until he does that right there. <laughs> there is a point where he is too loose. It looks like he's going to retire it. Trying to look at the rear end, see if it broke the J-bar or something. Can't quite tell. Meanwhile, battle on the track. Looks like it will be fast turn to pop. It's going to be Hankley versus Chabot. Chabot trying to chase down his old car from many years ago. Definitely not the same actual machine, but the principle there. Saunders looking to work on Brooks for that fifth spot. And Douglas just keeps checking out. Nine laps to go. Shabak almost to the bumper of Hinkley. He's got eight more laps to get something done. Can he do it? Douglas just continues to extend that lead up to three seconds. Making it look absolutely effortless in that thing. That thing barely even gets a wiggle. He's probably wide open before even that old restart. Another half a second faster that lap. It is unreal what Douglas is doing right now. Five to go. Kencha, but get Hinkley. He's looking high through three and four. Can't quite get it done. Will he look for the cross in the long field? He enters one up high. He's going to leave it out there. As some would say, Douglas making them look like they're standing still. Up to 4.2, another half second that lap. Two to go for Kevin Douglas. Chabot still working on Hinkley for that third spot. This is the Kevin Douglas show, the white flag waves. Josh St. Clair in second. Chabuck looking to the outside of the white flag line for third. Chabuck and Hinkley side by side through turn two. It's dead even down the back stretch. Who's gonna get this final trophy position? Chabuck by a door, Chabuck's gonna get him. Can Hinkley fight back? No, he cannot. Chabuck with the third spot. Nice move by Scotty Jabak out of four. Nice clean power move up yep. the outside. Woo! Kevin Douglas, man, I'll tell you what. If you want to straight up trade cars for next week, I'm down. <laughs> uh, I think I'll take this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens next week. But uh, it's, been, it's been on a rail the last couple weeks, so it feels really good. It definitely does, man. When they're going the way this thing's going, it's a ton of fun, dude. And you're making it look easy. You're driving the thing perfectly out there. Going for the points championship now? You think you got something for them? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd lie if I didn't think about it, but I, uh, I try not to. You know, you can only get what you can get every night, and the points will work themselves out. Um, I mean, between me, Nick, and Josh, it's going to be a battle. So oh, yeah, it's yeah. nothing's going to come easy this last couple of races. So. That's all right, man. You're doing what you got to do to earn this one, man. I'm sure there's sponsors on this and people you got to thank. I'm sure you've done this a time or two. You probably got it about memorized. What do we got? First and foremost, Richard and Vanessa. Um, I'm very fortunate to be able to do what I do, and it's all thanks to them. Uh, so I really got to thank them, Wiscasset Speedway, uh, Jeff Taylor, my brother. You know, we're a two-man crew, mm -hmm. and uh, he's here every week and helps me out, spots for me, does an awesome job. My parents, all my family, friends that are here, um, Jordan Lumber, Old Mill Pub, Alaqua Lounge, Strictly Roofing, Jared Fabrication, Ray Haskell, John Sullivan's, and 1890 Primitives. <laughs> it's almost like he's done that a time or two. 
Kevin Douglas, man, awesome job the normal, Josh the St. Clair. You were fast at Oxford yesterday. You tested today. You come back to the home track, put up a strong performance. Second place, man. What's it like this weekend? It's uh, kind of unreal down to Oxford, but uh, I'll be some glad to get my car back, get back in a distance chassis. This, this thing isn't no fun. <laughs> I want to race with that distance car. <laughs> I was up there thinking the same thing. I would give anything to be in that car right now. Yeah, I'd, be any, I'd, be, I'd give anything to get back in my yellow one and race with him. You know, this thing, I managed second, but it wasn't a second place car. So no, I got to thank Dave's over. World and everyone that helps me, the guys. We just left Oxford there after the last tech call and come up here to make a few laps and race with these birds. So uh, thanks for everyone for coming. All right, that was Josh St. Clair. Strong second place performance in a car that he definitely didn't want to drive. Scott Chabuck, amazing power move on the outside going around Nick. Looks like he tried to cross him a few times. Nothing there, and they just said, man, I'm going to the outside. I'm going to get it done. Return here, third place, another strong performance out of this car. Let's talk about it. Yeah, the guy was going pretty good. I was dogging Nick. Just, uh, I tried once, it didn't stick, and I, the second time it did, and I think he gave me a little more room, but that was good. Hey, a little more room, sometimes that's all you need. You got any sponsors on, thing, on this? It's pretty blank, but still got to have someone. Richard and Vanessa, and... Uh, Reese across America will be on the hood next week, so looking forward to that. All right, that's always good to hear. Scott Buck, your third place finisher. All right, that's your Pro Stock Top 3. Kevin Douglas, Josh St. Clair, Scott Buck.